big announcement has come from the prime minister in fact he has tweeted it saying proud of our drdo scientists for mission devyastra the first flight test of indigenously developed agni 5 missile with multiple independently targetable uh, re-entry vehicle technology what exactly is the significance of this vishnu this is in very simple terms, Maria, the most significant missile test, ballistic missile test that India has possibly done. Uh, there was huge expectation that India would be testing a ballistic missile. It was expected to be a submarine launched ballistic missile. There's a Chinese spy ship operating off the coast of Vizag with the expectation that in fact a submarine launched ballistic missile test would take place. What India has done instead is tested a variant of the Agni-5. This particular variant has what is called multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRVs. This is a breakthrough in technology for India. It basically means that each and every missile has a number of, um, of independent bomblets, as it were, or independent uh, nuclear weapons. So a single nuclear missile of the Agni-5 class can in fact using these independent um, warheads target four or five different targets depending on the number of the independent weapons inside the missile. Okay, so if we were to break it down, Vishnu, in terms of what the DRDO scientists have achieved, is it unprecedented, never seen before in Indian history or the world history? No, no, MIRVs have existed for several decades all around the world. It is a breakthrough as far as India is concerned. In simple terms, what it means is that a single missile can target not one city, but perhaps four to five. Uh, and I use the word city because when it comes to ballistic missiles, these are seen to be city killers. City killers. They're essentially targeted or designed to hit large areas. So even if it is uh, not a city by itself, even if it is a large industrial base, for example, what a single missile does with MIRV or multiple independent re-entry vehicles is the warhead on top of the missile opens up when the missile is in space and four independent vehicles, each with a nuclear warhead, deploys, and these have their own targets, which then come down to the earth, and so a single missile is much more effective. What India did have for several years now, across the Agni range of missiles, perhaps even other classes of missiles, was a single missile with a single warhead. Hmm. What we are getting now is, or what we have now, is a single missile with multiple warheads, with each warhead right, being hmm. able to target a different area. So the value of a single missile goes up many fold. The question, hmm. therefore, is, Maria, is it three uh, independent uh, hmm. Warheads that each missile has or four, that's classified, top secret. Okay. But the fact is that, uh, you know, it is a huge development. We've got okay. Pallav Bagla, I believe, with us uh, as well on the phone line. Pallav, what are your DRDO sources saying? Well, my sources are silent just now, but the Prime Minister has said that we've had a successful test of a multiple re-entry vehicle test for Agni-5, which is a very big thing. And, and it's the next stage of the Agni-5 series. And the Agni-5 is a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile. Initially, we had a missile which could target only a single target. Now, with multiple re-entry vehicles, we can target more than one. So it is very hard to shoot down a MIRV missile, which is why India has been developing it for a while. But the test has been put on hold for a long time. Now that it has been successfully tested, I presume from the Kalam Island of the Odisha coast. It is a very big development and it also moves India's missile development program and our nuclear arsenal into the next level. Okay. Well, uh, sorry, Maria, yeah. just another quick question, story close to my heart. Uh, Pallav, the fact is that this is not an intercontinental ballistic missile and the reason I say so is because the NOTAM or the notice to airmen and sailors was of a missile which flies to a range of 3550 kilometers. A true intercontinental ballistic missile would have greater range, perhaps in excess of 5000 kilometers. So this is an intermediate range ballistic missile but as you correctly point out the fact that it has more than one warhead means that India is now in a class of just a handful of nations. The United States, Russia, 
China, the United Kingdom, and France, as I understand it, to have this capability. This alters the geopolitical and the geostrategic presence of India massively, right? That's what this is all about. Absolutely. It is the next stage of any ballistic missile testing. And when you have a single target, and now when you have multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, it becomes very hard to shoot down. And that is something which DRDO has been working on for a while. And now that they have tested it, and as the uh, Prime Minister says, the first indigenously developed uh, missile has been tested. It is a very big development. And he says, proud of our TRDO scientists. And Divya Shastra is what he has named it. It is indeed a, a missile which is very hard to shoot down and a technology very hard to master, which also means that we can put in more than one nuclear warhead and send across. Now, whether it is intercontinental or not, let's leave it there because those are definitions which were there between Soviet That's Union cool. and America. Uh, those are matters of definition. But if okay. it has a range of anything over 3,000 kilometers, it can reach all, both the eastern and our western adversaries and target them. Hmm. And uh, Pallav, you know, you're talking about this mission. Uh, the Prime Minister, of course, has made this announcement. This is a big feat for India. But when did the work on this mission actually begin? Well, long time ago, Maria. I, I could not have disclosed it, but I have seen the workings of development of this missile long ago at a facility of the DRDO a long time ago. Uh, but uh, it has been in the works for more than 10 years and, and it has now been successfully tested. It is a great feat for India scientists that they've been able to do it. And the Agni-5 missile with a single uh, warhead has been tested multiple times and uh, is uh, ready for induction. Uh, okay. So what the government of India sources are now telling us, uh, and I would ask uh, the producer to put those flashes on our television screen, uh, that uh, India Today, of course, has tested this. An announcement about that came from the Prime Minister himself. And this will ensure that a single missile can deploy multi-warheads at different locations, as uh, Vishnu was pointing out. And the project director is a woman and has significant women contribution Do overall. Do have a name, Maria? No, this is what sources in the government are telling us. We will have to wait for the name of the project director. But for the moment, we can say that the project director is woman. So clearly, Pallav, I like would you it. have an idea who this is? Well, we, we do know, know that Tessie the Thomas has been is. associated very closely with uh, previous variants of this missile. Could it be her? Uh, no, Agni Putri, Tessie Thomas, uh, it seems... Last I heard, she has uh, superannuated or retired from there. But there are other women of DRDO who are equally involved in the missile program. Uh, so, so one of them could have been heading this program. But Tessie, it seems, had uh, superannuated. And, uh, but there are many, many capable women there. And uh, what sources are also telling us is that the system is equipped with indigenous avionics system and high accuracy sensor packages. They go on to say that this capability is an enunciator of India's growing technological prowess. Let me just break that down for you, uh, Maria, in very simple terms. This is a massive technological breakthrough. As Pallav was mentioning, this has been one of the most anticipated moments in India's uh, nuclear ballistic missile program, India's nuclear weapons program. In simple terms, what we have tested now to a range of 3,550 kilometers, that's way south uh, in uh, the Indian Ocean, is a single missile with multiple warheads. MIRVs, or multiple independent re-entry vehicles, this was a MIRV-enabled uh, ballistic missile, essentially have the ability of one missile targeting a number of different targets. Oh. Uh, so the, the, the use of the benefit of this missile goes up massively. Very difficult technology to master. Just a few countries have it. As Pallav mentioned, India already has the ability of targeting all of China and Pakistan. This enables us to do a lot more.